Hey guys, I'm back with another workout today, Parisian edition. Um, today I did four rounds of the of the workout. As always, do a minimum of, of three. But if you want to add on uh, more rounds, please feel free to do so. So our first workout is burpees with a chair step up. I don't have a chair, nor do I have a mat, so I'm not doing push-ups with my burpees. I'm just doing a regular burpee and doing a knee up instead. So it'll look something like this. Knee up. Knee up. With a chair, you would actually step onto the chair. If you have a chair, use one if not. So our next exercise is a row and twist. I have my resistance bands here. If you don't have a resistant band, then use any type of weight. So we're going to have our knees slightly bent, do one arm at a time, and row up and twist. Up next, we have prisoner jump squats, and it's a regular jump squat, except we're going to lock our hands behind our head. So all of the tension is in our lower body. So we're going to squat them into the back. Oh my god, everybody is staring at me out of their window. So, last exercise is a pike push up. And we're gonna get in downward facing dog and do 10 push ups. And that is it. Don't forget to stretch before every workout. And if you wanna do some other kind of cardio before your workout, which I recommend, do so. Um, until then, I will see you tomorrow. Hey guys, hope you're doing well. Um, I know I didn't upload a video yesterday. Um, I had a lot going on with flight cancellations and such and getting back to the States. Um, but I'm gonna double up today so you can have both workouts. So today we're doing five exercises for three rounds. Normally we do four. And this workout looked difficult, so much so that I skipped it and did Wednesday's workout instead of Tuesdays. <laughs> So I am gonna do this workout tomorrow, but my body is just really stiff. I'm not really as loose as I normally am. Um, and I, I just don't think I'm prepared for this. Um, so I'm just gonna do it tomorrow. So our first exercise is 10 competition burpees. Uh, the difference with this is when you go down and plank out, you're going to lay your body on the ground and then have to push up and then jump up. It's more difficult than a regular way. So we're going to jump down and plank out and lay on the ground, lift your hands off the ground, then push yourself back up and jump up. So jump down. Next we have 20 low jacks. So we're going to squat really low and just jump our feet in and out and stay low the entire time. We're doing 20. Next are 10 strict mountain climbers. So we're going to get in a plank, uh, bring one knee up close to your elbow, and then switch, and switch, and that's one, two. And as always, if you can't do regular mountain climbers, then just do the knee to chest mountain climbers, where you're just bringing your knee up to your chest and both knees count as one rep. Our next exercise is commando push-ups. We're doing 10 of these. So we're going to push up off the ground and tuck our knee in and come back down. So push up, knee tuck, come down. Push up, knee tuck, come down. So we're going to end with abs doing 20 knee hugs and you're going to act as if you're balancing yourself on your butt. Extend it out and then you're gonna bring your knees to your chest and hug them and go back out. Hug, out, hug. So I didn't offer many modifications for this workout because I really want you to try and do these exercises, especially the commando push-ups and the competition burpees. Those are more endurance exercises as opposed to like a sprint. So, and I know you're gonna be tired, it's gonna be hard. Take a break. Do not take more than 10 seconds of a break at a time. I know, strict, but try it. And I promise you, you will feel very accomplished when you finish this workout. 
All right, so let's get into Wednesday's workout today. So I did this workout today. It's a 12 minute AMRAP, as many rounds as possible as you can complete within 12 minutes. Don't sleep on these workouts because they're still challenging. So our first exercise is 15 side step ups and we're doing 15 on each leg. Be sure you get a chair or bench or something to step on. So we're going to step up and bring your knee up, come back down, up. Next we're gonna do 10 tricep dips, sorry to start. Um, but we all know what tricep dips are and we're just going to do them on one leg, 10 on each leg. So one leg out and dip, 10 on each leg. <laughs> Up next, we have elevated lunges. So we're going to put our foot up and lunge on one leg, 15 reps each leg going down. Really stabilize that core for balance, making sure your knee isn't going over your toe. If you don't feel comfortable elevating your foot so high, then just uh, put it on something low. Even if it's just something like as tall as a brick or six inches or so, that's fine because elevating your foot changes the entire dynamic of the workout. Lastly, you're going to end with chair climbers. So it's basically an elevated knee to chest mountain climber. So we're going to plant our feet on the ground and put our feet in a chair and bring your knees in. Again, if you don't feel comfortable with this, I would try and elevate my foot, uh, elevate my feet on something a little lower, but if not, doing a standard mountain climber is okay. And we're doing 10 on each leg there, and that is Hey guys, I just got through doing Tuesday's workout. Remember, I switched days and did Wednesday first instead. Let me tell you, it was more difficult than I thought it was. Hope you got through it. <laughs> so let's go ahead and get into today's. We have four exercises, three rounds, standard routine, but it's a really good one and I hope you enjoy it. So let's go. So up first we have squat jumps, and with these I really want you to use a lot of power and momentum to jump as high as you can. So we're going to get low, bring your arms back, and jump up. So our next exercise are burpees with a Santana push-up. Um, so we're going to go down, plank out, do a push-up, turn to the side, and look up. If you want to eliminate the push-up, that's fine. So it'll look like this. You want to jump down, plank out, turn to the side, come back, jump, plank out, side, jump. Our next exercise is a wood chop with a back lunge. I don't have any weight, so I'm using my luggage. Use whatever you have at your disposal. We're going to do a back lunge and cross over opposite knee and come up. Again, that's a back lunge, crossing over opposite knee, bring the weight up, back lunge, bring the weight up, back lunge, up. Whew. Lastly, we have twisted sit-ups. My luggage is a little too big to use, but a twisted sit-up is we're going to sit up and twist to one side, come back down, sit up, twist to one side, and that is it. Sorry if I'm running through that pretty quickly, but I'm running late for work. So um, I will see you guys tomorrow, and I hope you have a great day and enjoy your workout. <laughs> hey guys, I'm back. Um, yes, I skipped yesterday. Sometimes you just need to take a day, but you always make it up. So I'm making it up today. We have another workout, four exercises, three rounds, the usual. So let's get to it. So our first exercise uh, are jump squats, and if you have weights, use them. Also a good hack for making your own dumbbells is getting a water bottle and filling it up with sand. If you get a glass water bottle, that's even better. I don't have anything, so I'm just gonna do regular ones. So we're no strangers to jump squats. We know the drill. We're gonna keep our back straight, go down low, and then jump up, landing on the balls of our feet. And we're doing 10 reps. 
So our next exercise is a superwoman with a knee tuck. So we're going to get into a plank and we're going to hold out our arm and opposite foot on each hand and leg and then do a knee tuck. And all So all of that is one rep, I know, and we're doing 10. If you can't do a regular superwoman, then just lift your hand off the ground and then do the knee tuck and make sure to not turn your body. So next we have jump lunges and a side kick. So we're going to do three jump lunges. One, two, three, and then bring our leg out to the side and then repeat. So it'll look more like this. Jump lunge, two, three, kick to the side. One, two, three, kick to the side. If you can't do a jump lunge, then do a jump hop on the same leg. And when I say jump hop, I mean lunge and hop on the same leg and then kick with the opposite leg and do the other leg. 10 reps of these, it's gonna take a while. <laughs> so this next exercise is really extra. We're gonna do a handstand plus a push-up. So we'll go into a handstand and then into a push-up. So you can handstand against a wall if you want to. Um, I don't have one on me right now, it's free. Um, but if you can't get your feet all the way over your head, then just do as much as you can, even if it's just this. But I really want you to try it because it's a great shoulder workout, but if you don't absolutely feel comfortable, then you can do a mini mule kick where you're just jumping up like this and then go into the push up. And then that's it. <laughs> So after I complete the three rounds of this workout, I'm going to do 30 competition burpees, which again, you're going to jump down, plank out, lay on the ground, come back up and jump. You don't have to, but I encourage you to.